that's a lot quieter than I thought it was going to be. Anyway, yes, this is the official Formula One F1 2020 game, which was on sale on Steam this past weekend for like 75% off, so I snagged it. I bought this the other day, not necessarily for this game, but there was another game, uh, Dragon Quest Heroes does require an Xbox controller. This is, today is the first time I've actually laid hands on an Xbox controller. I've only played the Xbox games one time before, and that was also a racing game, but it was using an Xbox wheel. And yeah, I messed it up terribly. Almost all the racing games I've played have been kart type games, Mario Kart, etc., where there is no soft throttle and you just don't touch the brake. So not only am I going to be learning how to drive without a wheel, because a proper sim racer wheel and pedal set can run you uh, 700 to 1,000 bucks to get one that's any good. You can get a cheap set for like 50 or 60 and you're going to regret it. It's going to be a horrible experience, but this is 20 bucks. And this is at least going to be enough to see if I want to get anything more serious than this. I've only got familiar with Formula One in the past year or so because, well, I was watching videos from Achievement Hunter, their Let's Play series, and that got me hooked that got me recommendations to watch Fail Race, Alex Day from England, doing racing on various programs, including Grand Theft Auto. And then, thanks to me watching pretty much everything from Fail Race, I got a recommendation for sim racing for a guy named Jimmy Broadbent. And uh, I've over the past year, I've picked up a bunch of stuff. And one of the things you have to remember about Formula One is that the cars are not equal. Every team basically builds its own car and to, it, to its own standards within the rules and limitations. And, uh, yeah. In 2020, Mercedes was the best by far and away at the start of the season, to the point that halfway through the season, they stopped doing any improvements on the car and just went, uh, just focused on 2021 research. In 2020, Williams was the slowest one, so that's the one I'm going to be, uh, going with today. Okay, Melbourne Grand Prix circuit, very easy. The Australia Grand Prix is the one that they normally begin the season on, but COVID has thrown everything out the window, and most of the actual street circuits like this one, uh, the Australian Grand Prix actually takes place at a public park, so they couldn't have that and still have COVID isolation. But they're hoping to do that later in the year. Tutorials, that's what I want to unlock. Okay, that's actually not helpful in the least. <laughs> I want a tutorial for how to freaking drive. Modern F1 cars rely on more than just internal combustion to reach their maximum power output. The V6 turbocharged hybrid engines generate an extra 160 brake horsepower via the yes, ERS. Yes, I know they use a hybrid engine, system. damn it. The power for this electric motor is recovered from energy that otherwise would have been wasted to charge the battery or gain more performance. Each lap, you can only harvest and... That's really utterly useless. All right. I guess it's just go out in the track and try things. Okay, this is me driving. Apparently it's automatic transmission because I'm not having to do anything. I keep missing the button for DRS. And I don't know how the hell I'm not locked. Brake assist, that's why I'm not locking up. Yeah, I am just all over the place. Hey, Kerbalized! Okay, and... Yeah, I am terrible at this. <laughs> Turn, 
turn, you bastard! Why don't you turn? Pavement is your friend, gravel is not. And 80,614th on the leaderboard. <laughs> that is truly pathetic. Okay, got a green delta. That's kind of good. It'll be better if I stay on the track. Turn, you bastard! Why don't you turn? Boy, that's pathetic. This and next lap invalidated. <laughs> well, I don't have to worry about this one counting, do I? <laughs> New leader, more position. Slightly less pathetic, but still pretty damn pathetic. actually going slower than last time. That's me. That's my personal ghost in front. There we go. Now can we please get a better... Can we get a lap that actually quote-unquote counts? Come on. There. Whoa! Way off the line there. Whoop! Is that too much of a cut? Yeah, that was too much of a cut. I'm focusing more on keeping control than anything else. Keeping it on the track and getting an actual quote unquote legitimate time. Oh, I nearly bend it there. And I did bend it there. That was a terrible penultimate turn. And that's actually a slower time than the last one I had before. Ah, but it's jumped me up like uh, 40,000 positions, so I guess it's something. Oh, it's giving me rivals now, is it? Part of the problem is this controller, the stick is really damn twitchy. I don't really have fine control over my steering. Ah, uh, blew it. Bend that one really bad. All right, settle down. Settle down, get back into it. Let's get this flyer going, start over. Uh, too aggressive at cutting the corner, I guess. Uh, okay. I don't believe how tense that leaves me, though. 132,583rd with all assists on. And they're going to stay on for today, I think. Oh, boy. <laughs>
bit of an aggressive cut, but I'm now up on my personal best. Balls to the wall, pedal to the floor. Whoops! Restart lap, thank you. <sighs> Doing much better than previously. Nearly three and a half seconds better. Ah, uh, and I almost bend it right there, but I managed to hold it. Nearly five seconds better. Ah, uh, and that invalidated it. Really? Okay, did I make it around? That's a legal time. Yeah, I'm glad that I've beaten my rival like I give a shit. Whoops. Yeah. Uh, return to garage. <laughs> I felt I went to visit my friend Barry. Barry R. <laughs> That's an old sim racing joke, but... Restart. No, restart. Damn it. I did not leave the track. It's... Now, there I left the track. Whoa. Yeah. Restart that. No, restart that. Thank you. Ooh, just barely. Got all sorts of out, out of out of balance in that particular combo. But yeah. Restart. Well, I've beaten myself, but I've not beaten Puff the Magic Dragon yet. Once I've beaten this Puff, dude, I'm going to go ahead and go for the, uh, go for an actual simulated race. Yeah, that was a corner cut. Yeah, screw you. This is not easy. This is not easy at all. Even with all the assists, this is a steep learning curve for me. That last lap was a 1 minute 33.1. Thank you, Jeff. His name is Jeff. Sent it off. Oh boy. And this is one of the easiest courses in F1, mind you. This isn't like Monaco or some shit. Or God help me, Baku. Come on, get around. Damn it. Blew it on the very last corner. So far, our fastest lap is a 133.1. Yeah, that's nice, Jeff. Still 
run behind my own ghost here at this point. I think I'm actually getting worse. That switch back got me ahead, apparently. I ruined that by turning in too quickly. But it's at least a time, and it's a time ahead of my best. And I beat Puff the Magic Midget. Okay. So. So, I beat my second rival. Managed to get in a time that was under a minute 30. On a track with a record of a minute 8, minute, minute 17 something. <laughs> With all the Siths on, so, yeah. <sighs> so let's go ahead and take on a Grand Prix race at Australia with the uh, AI racers turned down as far as they will go. We'll stick with Williams. Again, the slowest car on the grid. But we'll go with George Russell because... Nicholas Latifi is a pay driver. He actually rounded up financiers who paid the team to let him drive. Of course, you have to earn your way up to a certain extent. Uh, you, they won't just let anybody get a super license and drive on the F1. You actually have to prove yourself in lesser circuits, but even so. Uh, they call him Lap Down Latifi for a reason. So let's go with the driver of the future, George Russell. AI driver level down to the brain dead. <laughs> but uh, not five laps. Five laps is too short. Let's go for a 25% race, at least for starters. All right, no qualifying. Yep, let's just... Let's go for it. The oh, crowd geez. are here and here in force for what is going to be a fantastic Rain. day of racing. Oh, Welcome boy. to the Australian Grand Prix. Very rainy. Oh, boy. We're a stone's throw from the end for it. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position, and Max Verstappen lines hey, up alongside. Hey, where's George side. Russell come Considering up here? The That's rest what of the we grid, were playing as. We have Vettel, Hamilton, Valtteri Bottas, Hamilton and Albon, not on pole, Sainz, or at least on Perez, the front row. He, he didn't make pole for Daniel Bahrain. Ricardo, Grosjean, Magnussen, Esteban Ocon, and Norris, Russell, Latifi, hey, Pierre 15th, Gassi, not dead last. and Daniel Kvyat, Raikkonen and Antonio Giovinazzi starts from the back of the grid. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. Okay. Okay, uh, basically no pit. Uh, we just run as long as we can on these wet tires because it's going to be raining and raining hard all the way through. Beautiful! <laughs> Beginner, and they throw a very wet track at me. Flashback lets you undo what has been done. <laughs> Achieve it unlocked. No, that's still no 
good. Yeah, flashback again. See a damn thing. Oh boy. It's fault that I've lobotomized it. But... Keep pushing. Let's capitalize on that first lap. Yeah, we're still on the first lap, and I'm... I don't really have a good idea what I'm even doing! Okay, what I need to do is... The guides here are apparently for dry, so I need to be braking earlier in the wet even on these full wet tires. And that's a cut, but I didn't get called for it. Whoops, and I'm off. I just got punted hard Be by careful somebody. The front wing. You've taken some minor damage. A new strategy is available on the MFD. Yeah, I can't. Uh, that was really terrible. So I racked up a five second penalty and lost my wing because I couldn't hold it on the track. Why do you throw a wet course at a damn beginner? Nicholas is coming in for his stop. Well, that's perfect. I hope he doesn't mind waiting. <laughs> Exit now. I was just as terrible. I fetch I was just as terrible with space flight when I first started playing KSP. Look after these tires now. We want to finish the race on this compound. It took me six flights before I figured out that I needed to uh, change the staging so I didn't kick the engine and the parachute off at the same time. Rick. Okay, that's enough. Please don't give me rain again. Good. Sunshine. I like sunshine. Hello, sunshine is good. Albert Park, Australia. Let's run you through the I don't care about the starting grid. Okay, that's a good start. Keep it up. No, it's not. Uh, I forgot to make sure that these... Uh, yeah, restart session. I forgot the... Uh, Quit to main menu because I forgot to make sure the AI are set to zero. <sighs> of course, my AI is is pretty much set to zero. Not art. It's artificial intelligence versus natural stupidity. Well, crunch goes the wing. if it takes too much damage. Uh. Yep. Uh. 
Yeah, I screwed the pooch there. Oh boy, I screwed the pooch there. Uh, it, now, how do I get out of this? I, I just want to... Come on! Yes, I want to exit photo mode. I want to exit this whole friggin' race. There, good God almighty. Of course, the question is less how well will I do on 15 laps and more, can I survive two laps? Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Damn it. Yes, restart session. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. Yeah, guess what? I'm in the pits, too. That's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. Yeah, screw that. God damn it. Oh. Oh, boy. I... I have all sorts of greater respect for Australian Grand Prix sim drivers after this. And you know what? We're going to do that again because we're still only a bit of a way, a bit more than halfway through tonight's stream. So let's go ahead and go for only five laps this time. And I'm going to try not to slam into every, absolutely everybody on the damn grid. I was on the either the eighth or ninth lap. I made it a lot more than five laps that time before I completely bend it. I get ahead of anybody, anybody, and stay ahead of anybody. Damn it. Not that time I can't. Restart session. God damn. Mind that front wing. It'll need replacing if it takes too much damage. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Check your MFD for a new... Restart session. My God, this is tough. I might have gained a place. And I just threw it away. 
The problem is every single AI break checks me every chance they get. The 0% zero, zero AI just loves the brake pedal. Damn it. Okay, here we go. I know we... It's almost to the point where I don't care about not finishing last. I just want to finish a race. Really? Really, Formula One? With that bluff. My cat is doing something destructive over here and I can't look to see what it is. We're leading our teammate by 3.9 seconds. That's good. I don't think I'm getting around Cubanazi unless... Oh! Ah, crap! And that's that race out. Well, at least I can get my cat to not do... But I don't even know what this shit is from. Where did you even find that? Anyway... That was going not 100% suck until I got into the back of, who was that, Kvyat, and uh, spun out in, in the gravel trap and got trapped there. All right, restart session. We're going to finish a goddamn race tonight. Okay, DRS is now available. Well, I send it, I send it. I shouldn't have sent it. Should not have sent it. I should have withheld shipment. Mind that front wing. It'll need replacing if it takes too much damage. Oh, lovely. Is that... A new... Yeah. Freaking Christ's sake. Okay, that's the best I've got for T1 yet. And then I threw it away. God damn it. lap and I completely fuck it up. Oh god. Let's do it again. Lap. Like so. Damn it. Getting through five laps and not last. That's remember that you have a break, damn it. I'm now front wing. It'll need replacing if it takes too much damage. Let's press on. No, let's not press on. I can barely stay on the course with a full damn wing, never mind with only half of one. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so very. And 
I've deliberately set this thing so that the AI drivers are all idiots. I mean, they come to un almost, they come almost to a complete stop on the apexes, and that daisy chains back along the line like that. Almost had Kvyat back. There we go. Goodbye, Kvyat. Hello, Gasly. Okay, the start was fine. Let's try and move forward. You tell me I'm at okay speed, and then I hit the gas, and it turns out I'm not at an okay speed. Later, lap one ends. think you're helping by backing these guys up to me, but I really wish you wouldn't. Embarrassing is in clean air, I'm leaving them all behind. I don't know what happened to Latifi, but it looks like either I knocked him off the course or that Jim Nazi and Kubiat followed me past, past him. Either way, he's out of sight.
go. That's bad. That's very bad. Steady up. Okay, gap ahead is 1.6 seconds. Yeah, I just made it a lot worse with that tank slapper. And my tires are not happy with me for that. I don't think I'm gonna take out Grosjean at this point. By which I mean pass, not hunt him off. With my driving though, hunt off is a possibility. But I'm right on top of him already, so well, I was for a second there. And then I found the wall. Got DRS off Grosjean. Good. Give him a little nudge. I'm here. Hello. And that's a thing you'll probably never see in Formula One. Botas winning. Come on, steer, damn it, steer. But. I finished okay, a race up, and, bring it home. and not in last. Oh boy. Yeah, I didn't expect to be driver of the day. That would <laughs> that would have been ridiculous. In 2020 and newbie with an Xbox controller. I have done a bit of practicing since last Saturday night, so I am no longer absolutely terrible. In fact, I took on a quarter-length uh, Austri Australian Grand Prix before the stream, and I was in the lead until three-quarters of the way through the final lap, and I put it into the wall. Second place was 15 seconds behind me, and I just skidded out, wall, race over. So far, I have done, done all my practicing on the Australian Grand Prix track. Tonight, we're doing a new one. We're going to start off with some time trials at Bahrain for me to learn the track. And then we're going to do a five-lap race with qualifying. Now, uh, one quick thing. What I did Saturday and also earlier, I've been driving as a Williams car. Time trial... 2020. The thing is, in the 2020 season, the Williams car was the slowest car. Not just the slowest drivers, it was the slowest built car with an average uh, delta of 1.5 seconds a lap slower than the lead in every single race. Williams scored no championship points in the entire season. They were the only team to go bogey. Even Haas managed a couple of points. Anyway, this is my first time touching Bahrain ever. Okay, uh, 122,738. 
we're going to shoot for getting better than a 70,000th place. Well, I got through a lap without corner cutting or anything like that. So let's see what this gives us. 136.2. Ooh, that's still low, low on the scoreboard. Turn, you bastard, turn. All right. Don't cut the first corner. I didn't cut the first corner. Still screwed it up, but I stayed within bounds at least. And I gained time on my time on myself, so. Uh, now I did that was a complete stop. That was terrible. And I think I beat that Thor Hammer Ghost. Alright. Was, was that a cut or not? Well, that was me screwing up the corner anyway, no matter if it was a cut or not. There we go. Finally, halfway decent through that corner. And that got me ahead of my own ghost. Alright, improving still. Better. Much better. Come on. Damn it, he's still ahead of me. Okay. Last lap was a 133.1. Not really getting down the leaderboard all that quickly. Yeah. Okay, where does that put me? Not as far down as I should like. Maybe getting under 70,000 was a bit too ambitious. Okay, maybe I'm getting the hang of that one. Okay, it's nearly 10.30. I think that's probably as good as I'm going to get. Consistently sucky, I guess, is about the best way I can describe that. All right, let's go ahead and qualify for a five-lapper. And that will wrap up tonight's stream. A no practice, one-shot qualifying, five laps... I'm going to keep the AI at driver level zero because I have yet to complete, well, I have yet to win a race at any, le at any length. I've only completed one five-lapper, so we're going to stick, we're going to just assume that I'm completely incompetent until proven otherwise. Just focus on getting a time, that's the important thing. Don't get, don't get disqualified. a shitty go through the run, but at least you didn't cut the corner. Line there, and I'm surprised they didn't dock me for that. To get any kind of a decent position on the grid, I'm pretty much relying on the uh, 
fact that the AI are 0% lobotomized, basically. Because any competent player in this game has eaten me alive already. They're already across the finish line. Alright, one shot quality. Okay, good job, mate. Really well done. That was a fantastic drive. Whole position. Whole goddamn position with that piece of crap. We're all ready for tomorrow's race, but before we begin, by let's three have a quick seconds, look at those pole who will be position. The grid. Russell, Hamilton, and Max Verstappen. Good. Okay, all I have to do is get out ahead of Hamilton and not fuck up for five laps. Can I do that? Let's find out. Let's go ahead and Welcome run through the full the pre-show. International circuit. Any moment now, our drivers will take to the track, and the Bahrain Grand Prix will begin. We'll be racing around 3.36 miles of the magnificent Bahrain International Circuit today. Keep an eye out for drivers locking the front left down into the tricky braking zone of Turn 10. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? But from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as we anticipate the run down into Turn 1. It's all a bit like going into battle, and the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. George Russell will begin today's event from pole position, and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Bottas, Alexander Albon, and Ricardo, Sainz, Perez, Norris, and Lance Stroll, Leclerc, Vettel, Esteban Ocon, and Gasly, Kvyat, Magnussen, Kimi Raikkonen, and Roman Grosjean, Giovinazzi, and Nicholas Latifi. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Not Latifi. Five laps to glory or infamy. wasn't so bad. Covered off Hamilton and put, made him fall back. But that lift kind of invited them back in if they had the juice to do it. Already a second up. Well done, mate. Nice start. All right. Pulling away. Pulling well away. No Hamilton. Well, no Hamilton's dropping back too. One lap, three and a third seconds up. Gun shy of that first corner.
Better than I did that half the time, but could have been better still. I got Dancy on that curve and had to back off of it to, keep, to regain myself. want to be dancing on the curves, guys. He said, keep on the pavement. That's where this car belongs. We it's the only place DRS. it belongs. DRS now available. Okay, Hamilton is now starting to gain on me a little bit on the straights because, of course, the uh, Mercedes has a lot better straight line speed and cornering ability. It's just a better car in general than the Williams car is. But because... They're running on 0% AI. They're basically complete and total incompetence. Well, that means I have an advantage. Because I'm the better incompetent. Like that... Like that S-curve just demonstrated. I'm really... You've got a lot of spare energy. Use your overtake button. I haven't got the concentration for that right now, Jeff. Engineer's name is Jeff. Besides, the thing is set to run overtake automatically. Come on. I'm holding my gap, but I'm no longer really blowing it open. Still gaining time. That's the astonishing thing. Okay, come on. Jeff Goldblum, must go faster, must go faster. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Okay. That was shit through there.
Back stretch, one curve to go. Drive. Just fantastic. You deserve that race win. <laughs> That's bullshit. Then to secure victory here in the desert. But Williams winning a race has, is something that really hasn't happened the since the early 2000s. The competition today. Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. Williams have put in an incredible performance out on the track today. I'm glad all the hard work of theirs has finally paid off. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? Well, there's no question in my mind it has to go to George Russell. What a performance. He's got every right to be proud of what he accomplished out there today. All respect to the fans' choice, they fully deserve it. But I just feel that my pick had a little more on their plate, so their ability to keep a cool head and come through for such a strong finish made the difference, at least in my opinion. Well, Ants, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. Yeah, I just want to say that was bullshit. <laughs>